In this video, we'll discuss the basic features of quadratic functions. So first of all, what is a quadratic function? A quadratic function is a function that can be written in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to zero. You may notice that a quadratic function is actually a second degree polynomial. Some common vocabulary that we will use when dealing with quadratic functions. A represents the leading coefficient of the quadratic. C is the constant term of the quadratic. And again, it's a second degree polynomial, so your quadratic function will always be degree 2. A graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola. You may recall that linear functions always have a non-vertical line for their graph. Well, quadratic functions, second-degree polynomials, always have a parabola for a graph. A parabola is like a U. Your U can be open up, or the U could be open down. And those are the only two possibilities for what the quadratic graph could look like. Now, when do the two situations occur? Well, the graph will be a parabola that opens up when a, that leading coefficient in the formula, is bigger than zero. So when you have a quadratic function where the leading coefficient, the number in front of x squared, is positive, you know the graph will open up. And when a is a negative number, when that number in front of x squared is negative, you know the graph will open down. The vertex of a quadratic function, if you have a parabola that opens down, the very maximum point, the highest point on the graph, is called the vertex. If you have a parabola that opens up, then the very lowest point on the graph is called the vertex. When you have the formula f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, you can find the vertex. The vertex of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c occurs where x equals negative b over 2a. So to find the vertex, if you have the formula, you can use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. Recall, y-intercepts always occur where the x value equals 0 on any sort of graph. So in a quadratic function, since f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, if we let x be 0, we see that f of 0 equals a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. And so f of 0 equals 0 plus 0 plus c. So f of 0 is c. That tells us the y-intercept is the point 0 comma c. Notice then, in the formula f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, the constant term c is the y-intercept of the function. Let's do an example. I have sketched here a graph of a function h of t. Notice it has that downward shape of a parabola opening down. Now this particular function h of t is quadratic and it says that it gives the height of an object t seconds after being thrown. I see over here the output axis is labeled height of object in feet and the input axis is labeled 
t seconds. And I've just labeled a few points along the curve. First, we want to identify what is the y-intercept and interpret it, meaning what does that point tell us about height and time? Well, the y-intercept is the place where the graph intersects the y-axis, and I clearly see that it is 0, 300. If we want to interpret the meaning of that point, remember that the function inputs t and outputs h. So t is 0, h is 300. That is telling us after 0 seconds, or to start, the object is 300 feet high. And that's an interpretation of the y-intercept. What about the x-intercepts? x-intercepts are the place where the graph hits the x-axis. I see that one x-intercept is the point 7, 0, and another x-intercept is the point negative 3, 0. There are two x-intercepts, so negative 3, 0, and 7, 0. Let's start with 7, 0. Again, it's t, h, so t is 7, h is 0. So it's 7 seconds, 0 feet above the ground. So after 7 seconds, the object is 0 feet above ground. So it hit the ground. The object hits the ground. Similarly with the other point, it's t, h. So t is negative 3. So negative 3 seconds. That's 3 seconds before the ball is even thrown. So really, that point doesn't make sense in the context of this problem. Negative 3, 0 doesn't make sense in this context, in this problem. Again, if you just glance at the graph, since t represents the number of seconds after the object was thrown, we really only can consider points starting at 0 seconds and after. We could not consider before 0 seconds. And then lastly, let's find the vertex and interpret the meaning. Now on the graph, it seems as though we're being told that 2, 400 is the vertex. Remember, the vertex is the highest point on the graph when our parabola is open downward. So it looks like 2, 400 is our vertex. And again, it's t, h. It says after 2 seconds, the object is 400 feet high. And what's important about that point is that that is the highest that the object gets. You see on the graph, the vertex is the highest point. So the object started at 300 feet, went up to 384, went up to 400, and then down to 384 and down, down, down until it hit the ground. The 400, the vertex point, was the highest that it got. So after two seconds, the object's 400 feet high. This is the highest the object gets.